Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Today we have a really interesting equation, exponential equation. We have 4 to the x equal to 1 over x. So on the left hand side we have exponential function 4 to the x and 1 over x on the right hand side. And how can we work with it? Because this is not like a common rule, how can we easily solve it? But I'm going to show you a really good trick, how can we find our x. So I suggest you to take, to raise both sides to the power 1 over x. So we have 4 to the x equal to 1 over x and we raise both sides to the power 1 over x. So let's do this trick. Maybe we'll, I'll show it why this trick is good later. So we will have 4 to the x left hand side and we raise this to the power 1 over x. And it will be equal to 1 over x all raised to the power 1 over x. So why this trick is really good? Because on the left hand side we have situation like a to the power for example b raised to the power x. So we all know that this power we need to multiply. So as a result we will have a to the power b times x. So we multiply our, our power. As right here we have power if we multiply it this x by 1 of x. By, but uh, why this is good for us? Because 4 to the power x times 1 of x I'll show it later. So 1 over x right here and 1 over x right here. So if you multiply this product, these two values, we will have x times 1 over x, it will be equal to 1. So as a result, we will have 4 on the left hand side and on the right hand side 1 over x to the power 1 over x as well. Okay, what are we going to do next? On the left hand side we have we have a constant and on the right hand side we have an exponential function because right here we have variables we have an exponent right here but moreover this is really good for us because base is the same as our exponent as you can see we have 1 over x and 1 over x as well so this is base is the same as our exponent so it's not hard to see that this 4 it's really good to express as 2 square if we express this as 2 square equal to 1 over x to the power 1 over x so nothing changed we just express this 4 as 2 square but right now we can easily write that 2 equal to 1 of x because we have same base same exponent and same base same exponent as well so one of the way that this equation works is when base equal to base and base equal in exponent equal to exponent but in our case both of them are, are the same so we will have 1 over x equal to equal to 2 and how can you find it of course x finding by cross multiplying we will have x equal to one half and this is our answer of course you can check it because this is not like a, a general method how can we how can we solve it let's check it real quick so we will have 4 to the power one half equal to 1 over 1 over one half so we all know that this 4 to the power one half this is not this is like a square root of 4 equal to 1 divided by y half one half this is 1 times 2 because we just swap this numerator and denominator and we will have 2. It is correct, of course this is correct. So our answer is good for us. Moreover, we can we can use a graph, a graph solution to this because 4 to the x, we all know the graph to this function because 4 to the x is this is an increasing function so it looks like approximately looks like that. It will go to to plus infinity right here to plus infinity and 1 over x we'll know that this is over this function from right here and right here but I won't write it only right here because right here this function does not exist and doesn't matter I write it right here as you can see so in this case this this line goes to this line so in infinity it line does not intersect but is it goes closely and closely and right here as well so this and this closely and closely but right here we have only one point of intersection this goes to pl plus infinity this goes closely and closely to to this x is x and this to x is y so this is one and on the root and as you can see we will have our answer one half this is right here this is my solution thank you so much for watching subscribing if you still have any question write a question in the comment and thank you for watching see you in the next videos